but at 27 years old, you are the oldest female American gymnast since the 1950s to head to the Olympics. So just getting back in the gym and working hard and tr trusting the process with Cecile and Laurent, I knew I'd be back. Well, that's Simone Biles for you. She had her fair share of ups and downs, but now she appears to be on her top form again. Her resilience, among other things, is the reason why younger athletes look up to her. One of the mentioned gymnasts who looks at Simone as if she hung the stars is Connor McLean. For those who are not familiar with her, McLean, a Las Vegas, Nevada native, is a decorated all-around gymnast who has experience on the national and international levels. What's more, she has been a member of the U.S. national team since 2019, where she helped Team USA win silver at the City of Jessalo Trophy competition. Not only is she a great team player, but she shines on her own as well. Individually, she earned gold in the all-around, gold on the vault, bronze on the uneven bars, and bronze on the floor in the same meet. From there, she continued to make her way up. She became a member of Team USA at the 2021 World Championships and was a part of the national team that took home gold at the City of Jessalo competition in 2022. Given her stellar performances, she very much deserved to be named the 2022 Winter Cup All-Around and Balance Beam Champion. Plus, she also earned a bronze medal on floor to earn her spot in the championships. Also in 2022, she climbed her way to the top of the podium in the U.S. Gymnastics Championships to earn national champion status. Her combined eight rotation score from prelims and finals of 112.750 in the all-around and 28.900 on beam earned her gold at the competition in Tampa, Florida. Long story short, McLean has made a name for herself, not just within Baton Rouge, but on a national level as well. She is a five-time USA national team member, as well as a 2021 world team member. In addition to being a solid, consistent gymnast for LSU, her young-natured presence within the team brings a new personality that LSU didn't have before. Recently, McLean purchased a plush toy that is now a part of the team. It does its own routines on the sidelines and travels with the team to all meets. Connor is unique, head coach Jay Clark said after he found out that the toy did a floor routine of its own on the side. Since McLean's debut as a Tiger, she's also taken on roles outside of the gym. She was recently signed by injury lawyer Gordon McKernan as a Get Gordon athlete, allowing her to take part in NIL partnerships via KRN4. Overall, she has been nothing but a star gymnast for the Tigers. Within her first six meets, she managed to score a perfect 10 on beam, along with a season-high score of 9.925 on floor. This year, she became the 2024 NCAA team champion while representing LSU. Here's the thing. When it comes to gymnastics, Connor McLean never takes the conventional route to success. In fact, she began walking on a balance beam and completing backbend kickovers when she was just two years old before moving to West Virginia when she was three years old. A major plot twist, though, is that she used to compete for her local swim team before choosing to focus on gymnastics. And, well, it seems that she made the right move. An organic homegrown gymnast through and through, her success has come from her own methods, rather than from following the usual formula, in a manner of speaking. Her unconventional path started when an infamous video of herself became well known in the gymnastics community completely by accident. The video was originally uploaded by Connor's mom, Lorinda McLean, because Connor liked watching herself after practice. A Adorable, right? While that may be the case, Lorinda never imagined anyone else would be interested in watching her daughter do gymnastics, especially since it was a 10-minute video. Obviously, it was interesting enough. At the same time, many were intrigued by the video because at four years old, Connor was practicing incredibly advanced skills for her age. For her family, though, this was no surprise. She did, after all, grow up in a family of athletes. 
Her mom played soccer and cheered in college, while her dad played college football at Southern Utah. Even her uncle was in the Olympic trials for boxing. Connor's siblings are, unsurprisingly, athletes too. Her older brother, Cole, played college football. Her older sister, Liv, plays college softball at Niagara University. And her younger brother plays for California Baseball Academy. Connor also has cousins playing DI college baseball, college football, soccer, and basketball. I feel like it encourages all of us to be honest, just all of us supporting each other from different DI colleges all around, Connor shared. And then me and my younger brother were doing our thing together. I feel like it encourages us and strives us to be better. Striving to be better appears to have been a personal trait she has developed from a young age. As a matter of fact, she started walking between six and a half and seven months old. Surprised and a little alarmed, her mom called a physical therapist to make sure it was okay. Some may not understand the panic, but typically babies usually start walking sometime between about 10 and 18 months of age. Now you get it, huh? Going back, Lorinda was concerned it was too early and even called a physical therapist to make sure it was okay. Apparently, it was. From there, Connor just continued to grow, literally and figuratively, as she continued to work on perfecting her craft. That she did throughout the years. When it comes to this season, Connor previously shared, Olympic trials is definitely my goal right now, and then just whatever comes after that, but definitely world championships later in the year, and then the Olympics is definitely there in the back of my mind, but I don't want to think about it too much right now, calling the 2024 Olympics her final goal. This is something she's been saying since she was at least 11. Sadly, though, she won't have the chance to achieve that goal this year, this year's Olympics to be exact. That is not to say that she didn't have a good run, figuratively speaking, so far in the season. In fact, she ended the North American collegiate regular season ranked third nationally on the balance beam having scored two perfect 10.0s on the apparatus, including at the SEC Championships. The freshman has appeared in 11 meets of the 2024 season, giving her the opportunity to practice competing in a way that those in elite gymnastics, where they may only compete four or five times in a season, had not. I actually kind of like it just because I get to go back to back instead of taking a two month break in between. Connor said of the college schedule, it's just nice to go out there and build your confidence. She had built her confidence for Paris, yes, but her body didn't appear to agree with the intent of competing in the summer games. In the latter part of May, the LSU gymnast took a brutal fall at the US Core Hydration Gymnastics Classics and left the competition in a wheelchair. Shortly afterward, USA Gymnastics confirmed to The Athletic that McLean tore her Achilles. She was at the meet as an Olympic hopeful, trying to make the cut for the 2024 U.S. Olympic team, along with incoming Tigers Kalia Lincoln and Lexi Zeiss. Now, she could no longer be referred to as an Olympic hopeful. But like Simone Biles, she understands the importance of being physically and mentally fit. So, she encourages her fellow gymnasts to just enjoy the journey. My best advice is just to have fun with it and don't let it control your life. I'm Connor McLean and I'm the 2022 U.S. National Champion. Watch this to see who will actually be flying to Paris.